I love how this place looks. Do these explode if you get near them? Yes. Or at least they will in a second. No, 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 no! Fuck, they hurt so bad. I'm doing anything. Oh, yeah, I think I did actually. those little bits of gas that just shoot out every once in a while. Restrooms this way. I keep feeling the need to check the map, but there is no map. That looks like it might be a mold sample. Oh, that's the pit, isn't it? Can I go down there without dying immediately? Nope, that hurts. This looks like a good one. It seems to be able to hit multiple enemies at the same time. I don't know if it's proximity or if it just like penetrates through an enemy and will hit one behind it. Picnic, picnic basket procedure is another altered item. Should be stored in a black rock paneled cell. Keep away from lab animals when not in use. A simple wicker basket with cloth lining. No food items inside. The item produces a hypnotic effect that solely affects non-human animals, forcing them to congregate passively around the object. Animals from every genus and species that have thus far been tested are susceptible. Single-cell organisms do not appear to react to the effect. Appendix. Back in 97, item was taken to a forest upstate for testing. 
Results of the test provided contradicting data as some of the attracted animals exhibited hyper-aggressive behavior. The exercise unfortunately resulted in something something. Further testing should be restricted to more low-risk animal species with medical staff on standby. Ah, so the animals got very angry and killed the person doing the research, didn't they? Oh, great. Oops. We've gotten some mods. Spin grouping efficiency. Accuracy 22% instead of 18%. I'll take that. And pierce. Damage while aiming. Plus 31%. Hmm. That's good. Consecutive kills boost. Damage after a kill plus 63%. That's also good. That or damage while aiming. Maybe damage while aiming? Seize speed plus 52%. That's good. It is quite slow, but it's also not something I've been using very much. deeper here or should I try to get up there? Well, bathroom feels like an extra way. Although it does seem to go deeper. Can't really tell. No map. samples. Too late. 
If they showed that to Dylan while they were growing up, maybe that's why they ended up fucked up. Where did you all come from? Wonder if I could take them over. Oh yes, I can. You can take them over too, I guess. Pretty much anything. Sorry, friend. Tropic Echo. And for the spin, also more in Tropic Echo. Ah, finish the mold hosts thing. Kill Hiss Warped. Ooh, reward is a random absolute weapon mod, so level 5. I'll take that. Hmm. I could probably get over there. Eh, actually, maybe get over there. I'm not going to say probably.
This must be one of the samples. I would just need one that grows near toilets. I mean, I would assume I'd be in the bathroom, but didn't we explore that area? Let's try to get over there. Can't tell if there's anything there. Uh, for the best chance at this, I should put on some personal mods. Evade energy cost minus nine. Anything else relevant? Oh yeah, evade energy cost minus 14. Okay. Whew. Yeah, there's something here. Oh wait, no! Ah, oh, yes! Hell yeah! Pierce zoom boost. What level is that? Level four? 18%. Well, I just replaced my one that did something similar for the damage while aiming, but that's pretty damn good. Let's switch back <laughs> away from these. Energy plus 15%. Health plus 28%. Yeah. All right, let's try to go back to the toilets, I guess. Wait a second. Could there be stuff up there? I don't think there's any way to get there, though. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> Looks like a good one. That's all five samples. I should get these back to Underhill. But I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. Now leave me to it. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Give them time to finish the antidote. Okay. Be careful down there. Don't 
so this is going to allow us to traverse those places better. Don't think it's going to do much to protect us from those incredibly damaging shooty spore things, though. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it'll do less damage? Let's head on over to Containment Sector. sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound. Unbelievable. Unknowable. Something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appeared mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful. Dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. Kills boost. What is it for? Or is that for everything? I think it's for anything. Damage after a kill plus 69%. That's a huge damage increase. God, that's so good. That makes me think maybe I should put it on the pierce. I don't know. Should I? Sure. This looks with the light coming through the blinds and the bodies, their shadows again, just gently swaying. Object and item distinctions. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant peri-utilitarian abilities. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the something evaluates who can or cannot enter. 
Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more paranaturally something than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have some number of altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. Tropic Echo, nice. All right, this place does have a map. Damn, it's big. Huh, no thanks. Is there anything else to explore? Uh, I don't think so. There's some offices up there. Can I get up there? Ah, yes. This week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. Hmm. Another entropic echo. Wait, what's this? Oh, they both go to the same place. Helsinki Three Latavatan Is this a whole new area? I think it is. Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on. I just left the room. What hit me? Okay, well, now we're back here and I don't have to leave the room, so... Shouldn't happen again. Yeah, what exactly are they doing with all these different regions? They're tracking time and all these different time zones. What is this? And what do those numbers mean exactly? Is your enemy spawn? At least they didn't spawn in here. Spawn in central containment, I... No. Well, maybe. It's back where we came from, but maybe. <laughs> Various locations in the U.S. Some have green dots, most have red. Is this tracking, like, where all of the potential objects of power are? Ones that are, like, being transported by plane and whatnot? Even leave, I just opened the door. Let's head on over this way. I don't think there's much... I don't think there's anything left in this room. Other than too many damn spawns. Hmm? Someone needs help over there. Over where? I think up? Sounds like there's a man down. They did say man down. Probably a man down. Oh, weapon mods full. Okay, I can solve that. Pierced aim, fire, boost. Damage only mean 29%. No thanks. Anything for the spin? 
rate of fire plus 32%. I mean, it's pretty good, and it's only level 3. But I'll take the plus 22% accuracy. I think that's more important. Altered World Event Rising Frequency. For some time now, there's been a steady increase in the annual number of Altered World Events that the Bureau responds to. Between 2010 and 2015, we responded to something... some number of AWEs. Mm. Is this rise a result of something? Improvement in our detection procedures, or perhaps simply coincidence? We cannot say for sure, which is why this proposal for an Altered World Event Task Force to be created within the hierarchy of the investigation sector has been compiled. We need to spend more time examining what causes Altered World events rather than just containing them. Pram procedures. It's an altered item. Containment cell must be properly ventilated. Inhalation of the item's smoke causes something. Item is a baby carriage with a black shade and steel wire wheels. Left front wheel is slightly bent, causing a distinct wobble when pushed. Item produces smoke incessantly. Smoke density varies. Smoke is generated without apparent fire or ignition source. An incident in Paris in 1979 brought the pram to the attention of the Bureau. Smoke filled an antique store where the pram was being sold, killing the shop's owner. Update. Detailed records of the events leading to the item's discovery were destroyed in an incident in the Panopticon. Interviews with living witnesses were re-performed at the order of the Archives and Records Chief. Scrap. Name's Horowitz. I. Oh! Ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting? We weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Oh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Rube can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just... Use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold. It's very urgent, but I have other things I want to do first. I'm supposed to set it to a specific time, aren't I? Probably the same time as this. 
225. Well, 226. Or not, I actually can't change it. Oh, there we go. I think that did it. It was a little bit slow to stop it, but it moves really fast. gets set to a different time. Has the time here changed? Oh, it did change. <laughs> six, six, six. Oops. This Wells guy can't be far. Those must be the clocks he was talking about. Mm. efficiency. Launch energy cost minus 23%. That's really good. Better than health 28%? Maybe. I mean, I'll take that over plus 15% energy. Because that's almost entirely what I use my energy on is launching. It's like a crime scene chalk outline around the clocks.
Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. Let's go. Clearance level nine? What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and it's clocks all the way down. <laughs> it's just duplicating and duplicating right in front of us. I think that was literally outtakes or something like that. I don't know if it's in universe or out of universe outtakes. I couldn't tell. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, you came down here for an altered item? The anchor, yeah. Langston said it'd be a simple item retrieval. But the power of it, I've never seen anything like it. Energy plus 13%. Eh, no thanks. Post box supplement. Agents arrived in the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona, after the communications department intercepted multiple phone calls to local authorities regarding frozen people in the streets. Four of the five dispatch agents became paralyzed upon arriving at the scene. Additional assessment teams were dispatched. Variations of identification formulas were tried with ineffectual results. Agents resorted to using aerial photography to study the positioning of the paralyzed individuals. Soon after, agents discovered the event's epicenter to be the local post office. Unaffected agents cleared the area of all paralyzed civilians, animals, and bureau personnel before beginning to study the item. Agents deemed susceptible to the item were tasked with interviewing and re-informing the public away from the site. The item was soon placed on a transport vehicle manned by unaffected agents. Air travel had been deemed too dangerous given the item's effect. Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to New York City. That's O'Neill. Shit. This is such a hilariously bizarre room, all these clocks. I love how random it is. It's not that the clock is especially significant, it's just that some energy force thing got a hold of a clock and then just started duplicating it. It's completely arbitrary what item it happens to be. That safe room is where the old item cornered us. We sealed the door on the way out. We couldn't let it get out into the bureau. I'll need to come deal with that altered item later. If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. We locked to tight. Come on, we need to get back to Harwood's. Refrigerator supplement. Mm, from an interview back in 74. Uh, can you tell us why you left your building that day? I was running out to get eggs. There was that corner store on 30th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. 
knew I wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left. I had his crayons out. Happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back. Started digging. City workers found Mikey later, beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. Tons of bricks fall on it and those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the accident. Why? It still had his drawings. God must have kept them safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your son's drawings still on it? They'd gotten stuck to it, or something. I thought about cutting them off, those magnets, but maybe it was better I didn't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, everyone says. What's my fridge got to do with the building collapse anyhow? Launch efficiency four. Launch energy cost minus eighteen. Ordered a retreat. We got out, but Hiss were waiting for us. I took Harwoods to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. I'm the medic. It's my job. As much as I want to continue, I have been recording for an absurd amount of time and my voice is getting really tired. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to get Wells back to Horowitz, hopefully safe and sound. <laughs>